left-wing media <laughs> saying, insinuating that the Trump rally at Madison Square Garden, <laughs> they're a bunch of Nazis. What? This is insane. The place was packed with like 20K inside. Boom. It was to capacity. And that didn't even include all the people that were outside. I got a video running up top uh, from a gentleman. Uh, what is his? Let's look. Uh, let's go into his feed. Let's go back up. Um, and what am I doing here? <laughs> LV Nation is his name. LV Nation. He was out. He was there. So he's filming all these people coming out of the Madison Square Garden last night. And I watched the um, the live footage of his rally. And it never occurred to me one time, one iota, that these people are Nazis. And what is, the? I'm telling you, the left and Kamala, this is not doing them any favors. Calling all of these people, that this is just uh, a bunch of Nazis and this is typical of Donald Trump to do this and spew propaganda? With most of his rallies, as he's talking about what is he going to do for the country, not, not this joy and feel good that the Democrats and, and Kamala are promoting. And her rally, that was yesterday, last night, with um, Beyonce, I watched some of it. Look, it was all about abortion, the whole thing. They they. Paraded women out with with these sad stories of them and this kind of thing, and it was it was tragic. It's like, oh my God, are you kidding? Is that all you've got it, it, to bash Trump the whole time, pretty much, and talk about and and the and if y'all go look at what she had up. At her rally was all about women's rights and women uh, w uh, trust women and all of this stuff. It was it was kind of bizarre. It was kind of bizarre. Now at the beginning of her rally, the music was fantastic, right? They were all having a good time. But look, when you get down to the meat and bones in it, it was just all about abortion. Her whole campaign is on abortion. So how many women in this country? Uh, Christians, you better get out and vote. Don't you sit on your butt and sit on the sideline. You get out and vote for sure. Now, this guy, Vance over here, uh, VC, not Vance, VC Nation, I believe is his, his YouTube page. Look, look at all of these people. And they, and they had a big thing outside Madison Square Garden where all the people who couldn't get in were viewing it on a big screen and it was thousands thousands of people and this is new york which is supposed to be they were saying well why are you wasting your time going to new york because he's saying times have changed trump saying times are different this is now a swing state and i think that the people in uh new york look they are waking up this ain't no woke crap. This is waking up from what's happening in their state where they've been inundated with the illegals. The state, their cities have spent so much money housing and giving these people phones, food, all of this stuff. And, you know, forget forget the people who live there and fix their infrastructure, their streets, clean up the city, clean up the crime. But no, they pour all this stuff. And I think... I think that New York is like, we've had enough. They are waking up is the new thing to say. So let's listen to what Kamala has to say on the tarmac here. Ask it, he, she's asked a question about the, the Madison Square Garden rally, which was awesome, by the way. I, watched, I didn't watch the entire thing. I, I saw Dr. Phil. I saw... Um, um, uh, Musk, 
I seen his two sons, his one son with his wife, and then his older son came out. I seen J.D. Vance. Um, I watched a handful of the, the promoter guy, the ball-headed guy. God, I forgot his name. But anyway, I saw him. And it was, a, you know, because, God, it lasted like several hours. So I watched, uh, you know, I came in yesterday evening. I, I started watching it. And then finally I watched it all the way through. Uh, his wife came on. It was awesome. She's got the sweetest, cutest voice. She introduced her husband. And he came on, and it was really good. It was it was really good. And if y'all watch Dr. Phil, I, I, he kind of says what you think he's going to say. Well, you know, if you don't like him, you know, or this kind of stuff. And he, and he talked about a lot of his speech was about bullies, being people being bullied, and other people need to stand up and, and help uh, the person getting bullied. Don't stand on the sideline, or you're just as guilty as the guy on the sideline kind of thing. But... Um, yeah, Dr. Phil goes on, you know, saying, well, you know, I don't always agree. You don't have to agree. Not everybody agrees. And, and then it's true. Not everybody agrees with um, with what everybody says. But the thing is, is that tr at least Trump has coherent sentences, has a plan for the future. And we, he's already had four years of proven leadership. The leadership of Kamala and Biden is a disaster area dumpster fire. And and a lot of the illegals coming in has, has pr proven it. Now, as you continue to watch the stuff on the top of the screen here, up here, look at all of these people. These are normal, productive, good, law-abiding citizens that care about their country. They're not Nazis. They're not communists. They're not socialists. They're sick of the crap. They're sick of the woke crap. They're sick of the border. They're sick of paying seven bucks for some eggs. They're sick of gas prices. They're sick of th this administration with the electric car crap and all of this crap. And this is happening all over the country. So let's take a listen to what uh, Kamala has to say to uh, the, these questions here. One follow-up to your remarks about President Trump's re uh, rally last night. Some people who watched that made comparisons between a rally that happened at Madison Square Garden in 1939 with neo-Nazis or Nazis back then. Do you see those comparisons? And can you also expand on what he said and what you said yesterday about Puerto Rico? Donald Trump has, this is not new about him, by the way. What he did last night is not a, a, a discovery. It is just more of the same and maybe more vivid than usual. Donald Trump spends full time trying to have Americans point their finger at each other. Fans the fuel of hate and division. And that's why people are exhausted. When has Donald Trump done this? When has Donald Trump fanned and fueled the hate of division? He's saying he wants to fix the border. He's saying he wants to get these criminals out of the country. I, Somebody let me know because I don't know. I haven't seen or heard Donald Trump being divisive or being any way, shape, or form against any other American citizen. In fact, the contrary. He is all about fixing the problem so Americans get jobs. American companies build things here. Fix the border. It's rally us together to solve this problem and get the bureaucracy out of the way. Uh, he said last night in his, um, while he was at uh, Madison Square Garden, he's like, look, he says he used the military. He used the military budget. He's like, look, we're, we're being invaded. Because, look, Kamala Harris and them are saying, well, we need a comprehensive border uh, bill. And they're dragging their feet and doing all this stuff. He said, Trump, when he was in office, he said, look, this is his first round, people. He said, uh, I'm using the military. We're being invaded. We got to stop this. And I've said this in previous videos. It's like, yeah. You're the commander-in-chief. Fix the problem. And he did. He he did over 500 miles of uh, border fence. And what they do? 
they immediately stopped building the wall. They started letting people come in. And then we had heinous murders, heinous crimes, where they were catching and releasing people without fully vetting them. Y'all ever watch, um, well, maybe I shouldn't say that, <laughs> where you get the catapult and you catapult them, <laughs> catapult them back over the wall. Anyway, let's continue. Stayed with him. That's why people who formerly have supported Donald Trump have voted for him, are supporting me, voting for me. People are literally ready to turn the page. They're tired of it. In terms of Puerto Rico, I, you know, even when I was in the United States Senate, I, knowing that Puerto Rico does not have a United States Senator, I was intentional about doing what I could as a United States Senator to make sure that among my priorities, it included paying attention to the needs of the people on that island, including the aftermath of Hurricane Maria. I have announced also my plan that is about my opportunity economy writ large, but a specific target that will include a task force focused on the needs of Puerto Rico, understanding that it has very specific needs in terms of upgrading and repairing its electrical grid, what it needs in terms of investment that will be public-private partnerships. And I'm going to continue to do it. I'm very proud to have the support of folks like Bad Bunny and Jennifer Lopez and others who were supporting me before that nonsense last night at Madison Square Garden. And What nonsense is Madison Square Garden? Look at the people on the screen up here, guys. They all have Make America Great. It, how is this nonsense? Who does not want to not make America great? It's them. It's, it's Kamala. It, it's her. It's her. It's their administration. And who cares if Jennifer Lopez or this other person supports you? Does anybody care what Jennifer Lopez thinks? I certainly do not. Are supporting me because they understand that they want a president of the United States who's about uplifting the people and not berating, not calling America a garbage can, which is what Donald Trump, those are the words he has used. So there you go. Uh, some of the states have become, become that. I, I'll agree. I mean, look at San Francisco. Look at Baltimore. Have y'all seen some of the, the images of Baltimore? It's insane. The tra the, there are people squatting at homes that are abandoned, and there's no trash pickup. Now, this was a few years ago, but the trash was just piled, piled up high. Y'all could go Google it and research it. I mean, look Look at this. Look at all of these people. And there were the television screens I was talking about. And we're talking thousands upon thousands of people who came to this to this rally. I mean, look at look at all of these people. It's insane what went on. And for the the liberal the libtard media to insinuate or continue to bring up. Comparing him to Nazis, comparing American citizens to Nazis is insane. And we should all have enough. No, we're, we're, we're not buying it. If you have any common sense, you could see clearly. I mean, look at this. The, there were thousands and thousands of people outside. None of them had a, a SWAT sticker. They all had Make America Great. That's that's what they, they want. It wasn't like, oh, no, we want to segregate ourselves because we feel we feel that, uh, you know, the, the other people are inferior to us. No, these are Americans who gathered together, went to see this thing, and they were all in one like mind to make America great. And Trump is the guy. It's not her. What, what is she going to do? What is she going to do? The only thing she, it seems like they're just a party of, of abortion. A party of abortion. I heard on the radio this morning that uh, we had one million babies aborted last year. I was like, oh my Lord. One million. One million. 
And they have these other organizations. Y'all need to Google them. Gosh, I can't remember the one he said. And I, I am so sorry. I should have wrote it down, but I was driving where they help at least 200 a day throughout the country to give free uh, sonograms uh, to to women so they could see their baby, and they end up changing their mind when they see the heartbeat and see that it's a human being. They see it's a living human being and help and support them in their journey with with God's love and a Christian ministry. Uh, so look up those organizations who do that, who help these these women out and save these children and save these children. Well, I thought I would cover that um, because I just I saw this and I was like, this is ridiculous that the, the media is even in. Insi- they got to say something. They what are they just say? OK, well, let's just say it's a, it's reminiscent of Nazi 1939. It's ridiculous, and I think if anybody has any common sense, whether you don't like Trump or not, this is ridiculous, and it's, I think it's just a last-ditch last effort to try to win something back, to win, to, to win anything back. I don't know. I was watching a guy's video earlier today, and he had went to um, Kamala's rally that had Beyonce and a lot of people did leave when Beyonce got done she spoke for like five minutes so a lot of them were leaving and there there was talk about people booing her and he was saying that, that through the whole thing there was a lot of technical difficulties and he was saying that um like they weren't putting stuff on the big screens and they were they were booing and saying fix the screen put things up because they couldn't see when people were coming up on the podium or when people were leaving or coming and going and things like that so and then then he said there would be one person booing her but then 30 people would boo the booer (laughs) so he said it was a little bit weird and he was a conservative but he didn't tell nobody that he was and that he went to this and uh, he just wanted to see what it was like. And he said at first it was energetic because the music was fabulous at the beginning. It, it was like being at a concert. But then he said it was such a weird feeling that he had to snap himself out of it because he was like all of a sudden all they're talking about is abortion the whole time. 90% of the time. That's what they were talking about and parading these women up to discuss it and convince other women to have abortions. It was insane. But anyway, there you have it. That's my take on it. I think it's ridiculous that the left has nothing else but to continue to compare Donald Trump to Hitler or Nazi Germany. It's ridiculous. We've already had him for four years. We were prosperous. We had no wars. The border was under control until these people took over and Kamala is the enemy within